And if you want to play another one, I'm sure you can. That's, you know, this is really informal, so keep playing if you want. Uh, feel free to like raise your hand if you want Jason to come over and look at your tile. And you're supposed to hit. Uh, right? I can't make the work. So I'm a big Scrabble fan, and I thought we don't have any Scrabble events in Monmouth County. I did a lot of research on it. Um, there's events, as Jason will tell you, all over the country. But when I kept looking for places to play, there were none around here. So I thought, why not pair two things that I love and kick this off and see who's interested? And I'm blown away by the uh, interest in this. So these tips are a little bit about, like I said, getting into the mind of a tournament Scrabble player and thinking about maybe some things that you might not think about maybe as often when you're playing the game. You know, you get your seven letters, kind of check out the board, and also check out your back. Think, well, does this make a seven letter word? In tournament Scrabble, bingos are actually quite common. It's actually now, for me, at least personally, more uncommon for me to go through a game without bingoing than it is to, you know, have one bingo in a game or two or four or six. Think about canister. Now, why do I say that? Canister actually contains the eight letters that are most likely to get you a bingo. C-A-N-I-S-T-E-R. If you see those on your rack, they are fairly useful when it comes to creating bingos. Well, right now I'm, I'm trying to play what's in my rack because there's a lot of open places on the board to play. Um, and I have the letters in my rack aren't very good. <laughs> uh, I tend to look for good uh, spots on the board, double, triple letter word scores, um, places where I can do words in different directions, I guess. You, uh, uh, you never throw any, never, never throw a turn away. You try to you know, always get points. Um, get rid of your high scoring letters as quickly as possible. I'm a linguist and I love languages. And I love to speak other languages, so um, I guess it all goes hand in hand. Words, creating words, learning new words, manipulating letters to form new words, etc., etc. It's a great game when we all play together, and like, like my sister said, it, we, we, we get to be entertained for hours, and, and it's just a nice family game to play together. Yeah.